Oscar has won it, Taylor kills off the back again with another Prepare Loving video today. Uh, we're going to be going through the Prepare Loving for uh, Hearts vs Kelly at Time Castle. Um, as you see, I'm invested in a whiteboard. Uh, I'm actually holding it in the board, so if it, if it kind of falls at any point, then I do apologise. But um, so I get pen on my thing there. Um, I bet for next week it should be up in the wall for when uh, we should be able to get some proper um proper stuff done. But um as you see I've already laid out the formation, it's four two three one. Um so I'm just gonna get straight into this. Uh if I can probably take the pen off. Move the lid off uh, anyway. Um Ingo's gonna be going with Jama. Uh don't really need to change that. Obviously if you're playing against his former club, as is quite a lot of the players. Um I so at left back, um we're going to be going with Kevin McKay. Um, or Ben Gordon if he signs in time, but if Ben Gordon does sign um, in time, I don't expect him to the start of him. But Kevin McKay is in at left back because then Stevie Smith's always getting injured. Um, back two, we'll go with uh, the same. Uh, we'll go with Bars, Tory, and Finlay. Um, again, doesn't really change. Um, last week's defender's performance is quite good for 75 80 minutes. Um, and then Dundee also started create chances with Kane Hemmings, Harkins, um, Lloyd plus up. He managed to get kind of in a back line, but uh, not to worry. Uh, right back, going to be Hodgson if you can't really read my writing, it's because I'm being a, kind of not really focusing much on it. I'm kind of mainly focusing on keeping this both on the wall, but um, so Hodgson is a right back. Um, apparently, he's actually a left back, but. Um, He's playing right back, but if he's maybe a left back, he's playing that well right back. Can you imagine what he's going to be a left back? Um, hold my fingers. Uh, we'll go with Slater and Dicker. Uh, I think I don't remember this last week. I think I did. The Dicker brings. Uh, I, put, I mentioned it in the player ratings. Um, the Dicker brings a uh, great height to the midfield because also we've got players like Slater, Hamill, um, Kelly he drops it in the midfield sometimes. Uh, Mackenzie. And that means we've not got the greatest or uh, we've not got the tallest team in the world, so Dicker uh, brings that height and then obviously Slater can open up players like um like Tope, who's not up to you. Told you, I told you, I told you the the white board would fall at some point. Um Aye, so we can open up players like Tope, open up players like Kilty. I Tope's not my start off by the way, just say. Um and then obviously we've got players like Mackenzie and players that have to Josh as well. So he's get he has got a great passing range. Um, if this whiteboard's changed the angle, which I think it has, I, I do apologise, but um, as I mentioned, it should be up on the wall for next week. Um, sit on the left here, we're going to be going with, uh, going to be going with Kilty. Um, just because uh, Topi has been playing that well. Neil's has been Higgy, but Higgy isn't starting loving. Um, just because I like that aggression about him. Um, obviously, he did go a bit too far at uh, Ibrox, but... I do like that aggression about them considering Hearts have got quite a tall physical team at the back. Um it's always good to uh, have a player like that and Higgy playing there. Um another thing is that they'll be playing uh Parson out here at right back and Kilty's work rate at tracking back's great. So um when he bombs forward, uh Kilty's always gonna track back and go into areas like this and um McCarty as well and then also Slater can come on cover as well. So um it's, it's you've got a good work rate and that's why I put him on the left side. I'll get pen armor on. Um and then out on the right here we're gonna be going with Ron McKenzie. Uh, I, I also mentioned this in my player's writings. The thing I like about McKenzie is he, as soon as he gets bought his first um intention is to run at the defence, try and cause the back four problems. Um and we quite a tall um back four, they've not got quite a lot of pace, so McKenzie will be able to run in areas like here and here and um and hopefully um, hopefully cause the back four problems. The other left back as well was actually suspended because he got two yellow kills against uh, Dundee United and Tikani Pete Lottles and because two yellow kills. So uh, Mackenzie will be playing against a different left back. I don't know who the other left back is. I think it's um, I told you. Uh, I think it's Rossi. This pen's starting to fade. It's because that's not a whiteboard marker. And also we need whiteboard markers next week. Um, I think it's actually Rossi who's actually a centre back. So um, aye, and then obviously up from we're going to be going with going to be going with Josh top goal scorer this season. And with Neil Alexander in goal, uh, I noticed this at Rugby Park, uh, for also goalkeepers are only the best with their feet, right? But when uh, Neil Alexander gets the ball, his touch and everything like that, his passing ability, even at the back, towards like Patterson and also the back four, um, 
in the left back out here is really bad. So I would suggest that uh, as soon as he get he just as soon as he gets the ball, um, every time it's all the Josh should just be sprinting and Neil Alexander and causing as many problems as possible. Um, and I just not further off. If you can see it, uh, somebody it's some it's uh, uh, faded away. Some it's um, too many. There's too, so many arrows and stuff, but um, aye, uh, it's it's fun all the show now. But um, aye. So if you enjoyed this kind of video idea, uh, please leave it a like. Um, obviously, as I say, next week this should be on the ball properly. We still have whiteboard markers, so the video should be a lot better. But um, aye. So like the video more. Subscribe because we're now at that hundred mark. And um, aye. So be tuned for Saturday's match the experience, which I think will be uploaded on either Sunday or Monday. Um, and aye. So. See you in the next video. Cheerio.